Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Road to Vostok development update video. Since the last month, there have been more items and assets than features added to the game. But there have been also a couple of announcements as well. So let's go ahead and get right into it. On January 26th, Anti posted devlog number 5, which showcased some of the features that I had previously covered, such as the new weapon attachment system, fuel tanks and wells, and the upcoming seasonal weather system. If you want to watch it, I put a link for that video in the description below. There were several new items added to the game, all of which serve a purpose beyond disposable barter items. They were all revealed at different times, but I will be discussing each item in this portion of the video. The first one is the Tackle Box. This item will allow you to store different types of lures, and will also increase your chance of catching fish. This tin mess kit can be activated when at a campfire or a gas stove. With it, you will be able to boil water or craft food recipes. On the topic of food, these field rations contain a three course meal and here are the menu items. Which meal would you favor the most? My instinct goes with menu number one. Matches, of course, will be used for lighting fires and probably some explosive weapons such as molotovs or dynamite. And last but not least, the duct tape will be used for crafting certain items. To help optimize workflow for weapon audio design, Antti created a weapon audio tester to share with the freelancer that he has working on the weapon sound design. Now, the freelancer is able to test audio with in-game environments, with distance and reverb, and so on. This will help to give a more accurate depiction of the in-game audio during development. In-game assets are important to give the game more life and identity. Here are the assets that have been added since the last update video. The Sun 1989 is the first lootable vehicle added to Road to Vostok. These vehicles will be present in the upcoming public demo update in March. There will be three barges on the shipyard map in the public demo number two. My guess is that there will be things to loot on these barges since they are used to transport goods through canals. Here are a few of the building structures that will be making it into the game in the future. This spooky shipwreck will be a point of interest deep below the surface on the shipyard map. There will be pockets of air within the massive structure, and for reasons unknown, you will have to search this vessel at some point in the future. As if the border zone didn't seem dangerous enough already, we will now have to make it past the patrol helicopters unseen. The helicopters will be equipped with searchlights and heavy weaponry, so good luck and godspeed to anyone who is spotted by the deadly aircraft. And that'll do it for this video. Before I go, I just want to give a special thanks to all of those who have subscribed to the channel. After my last video, I reached 100 subscribers, and it may not seem like a lot, but it really gives me the motivation to keep doing this. So special shout out to all of those who have subscribed, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.